Hey, this is Anthony with Revzilla TV, where you can watch, decide, and ride. Welcome to our detailed breakdown of the new Olympia Ranger jacket, available at Revzilla.com. The Ranger is a complete leap from the AST-2. They've changed enough, it looks different enough, that they've actually renamed it. So that AST-2, remember, was the staple Olympia touring and adventure four-season jacket, sub $400. Now the Ranger takes it, iterates on it, improves upon it, and is still that baby brother. It's not going to be as technical as something like the MotoQuest, which has those mega vent panels and the hydration system. But this guy is really a staple from a protection and functionality system for true four-season riding. And in my opinion, it leans a little cooler than it does warmer. Fall, winter, spring, rock-solid bomb-proof. Waterproof breathability is baked into a beefy outer shell, and then there's a thermal removable liner that you can pull right out when it gets a little warmer. There is enough venting though to stretch it through the summer. I'm going to talk about that in a second. They've changed that configuration for this year. But really with the Ranger, it's kind of this new theme from Olympia, which is a complete refinement in style. If we look at it, still American cut. Philip is still 6'1", 195, 43 inch chest, wearing a size large, boxy cut, eight inch of adjustability. We're still gonna ship for free. But if you look at the sizing, or look at the styling, completely refined. This is the black high vis version, there's an ivory version. There is going to be a BMW, red, white, and blue called Patriot, also a red and yellow, and some other action going on there as well. I believe there's a fatigue version, which is this militaristic green that we've seen on some of the other gear from Olympia. Very cool, nobody else is doing that. Also, I'd love to hear your gut reaction. Leave me your comments, your questions, your feedback. Subscribe to us at Revzilla TV, our YouTube channel as I walk your way through. But if we go back to the jacket here, let's start with our outer shell and let's work our way in. What I like about this jacket, sub $400, 2000D Investa Cordura, the real stuff. Impact areas, shoulders, elbows, all the way down the sleeve, you're gonna see it here, all the way across the collarbone, and that's complemented with 500D in Vista Cordura. So this is a beefy, beefy outer shell. And outside of the styling, the big key change here is the way the vent configuration works. So now you have this, you know, that four season ability to get through the summer, you have these big vents, both on the chest, that now that ratchet down and stay open that way. You can see how I've done that here. Waterproof pockets below them, kind of moving down. But the other vent used to come up the sleeve, it still does. But now it has a different, it used to come across the collarbone and now it kind of breaks right there. You fold it back, it stays open, and now you have the ability to circulate direct venting and airflow throughout the garment for the warmer times of the year. So again, three season cool, everything's, co everything's closed, and it's your choice, thermal in or thermal out. Warm weather, liners obviously come out, but now you're getting direct venting through that waterproof liner. And notice the bigger pull straps, and you're gonna see that as a theme through the new Olympia collection. And you also have the ability to have these, these zippers be water resistant or these waterproof zippers that are gonna pull everything together. Again, a nice touch. Notice reflective piping pulling the front together and this big stand-up neoprene collar that when I, when I turn Phil backwards in a second, you're gonna see they've refined it now, it has an included hood. Now, if we stay on our front here for a second, you're gonna see the way the side cinches come into play. Again, beefy, allow for expansion around the gut depending on how your belly works. And again, we don't get that from the European manufacturers. Remember, Olympia is designing specifically for the American market, knowing they got muscle guys, knowing they got some guys that are more with a belly or in the touring community, but guys that are really going for season that wanna fight mother nature. Turn the face away from me, Phil. Notice clean lines down the sleeve, 2000D. Reflective panel, 500D, 2000D again, goes all the way down. And notice there's a cinch right around the forearm that comes together. If Phil lifts his arm, you're gonna see the cinching at the waist, and you're gonna see another big panel here in the back that's gonna allow that direct air to vent right through and come out the back. And remember, guys, this panel, the way this is done, there's always trade-offs. To make this true four season, to have it water resistant, to have the fold away cuff, what you've done here is you've made this so your friend's probably gonna do a little bit of help to get you to open that or you take the jacket off. It's a little hard to do one hand. You really can't reach behind and do it yourself. Keep that in mind, but again, that's just a nitpick. Hand warmer pockets on the side, expansion gusset down here along the waist. Notice the drop seat design. This is a hip length or longer touring cut. Turn backwards for me there, Phil. Nice big rabbit pouch. It's big enough and it's gonna be waterproof to hold your thermal lining. So again, you pull that thermal out, that's where you stick it. And again, it mirrors the side here on this side with another vent and you'll notice that there is a reflective piping that goes across the back. There is a CE rated level one back protector that is included. Honestly, I've always said this, I've liked Olympia to either, to, to upgrade that armor, you can upgrade it yourself. It's lightweight, but it is CE level one approved. And now they have included with the jacket and incorporated, I'm gonna open it up and it's gonna be hard to put away, but here's the neck roll now 
with a waterproof hood that comes up and over. Notice it's waterproof all the way up that Phil can wear. Now you could bust that out if you get a rainstorm, put it underneath your helmet and it's gonna block the back of your neck. Come back around to the front for me. Your quick and easy spin there and stop and that's kind of how that bad boy works. And you'll notice that Olympia is doing this. There's even a strap that goes all the way across the front, which is really nice. They're very much completing the design. I'm gonna drop that down. I'm gonna leave it for a second. It's not gonna look great. You know, if I had to nitpick one other thing, there are a lot of snaps on this. Some guys like the snaps. I kind of go back and forth. Sometimes I like zippers. It depends on how many. But they're being thorough, knowing that, you know, I rode this guy's predecessor in AST2. You know, there were a lot of folks on my journey with MotoQuest in Alaska riding that coach, just beating the crap out of it. Again, these things hold up really, really well. YKK zip, Napoleon pocket. And as I zip it down to the bottom, and again, remember the waterproofing is non-removable. It's in the outer shell in this jacket. So that's why you have the double flap here. Moving to the inside, now you're going to see, I'm gonna show you. This is a destination thermal liner on the inside. Opening it up, you're going to have mesh pocket on the inside. Here's the interior guts kind of covering up that waterproof lining. Nice Trico liner at the top going to our neoprene that won't chafe. And then if you move over, I'm gonna do the other one here really quickly as well. Zip that guy down. There's your destination thermal liner, water resistant. So you have two layers. You have waterproofing the shell, water resistance on the inside. And again, you see the way that this is cut and shaped. This interior liner is meant to be, be standalone. And there is a zipper in this jacket so you could zip it to pants. He's wearing the Dakar pants. There is no direct Ranger pant. But again, from Olympia, you have a lot of options in pants. Some are more warm weather, some are for season in their orientation. Phil, you can begin to snap that bad boy up. The next step in your journey is to click here and read other rider reviews of the new Olympia Ranger. Remember, replacement for the AST2. In the food chain, below this guy would be a much more flexible Air Glide 4. You know, a lateral step would be something like the uh, Dakar, which is going to be more of a three season warm weather jacket, and then you're up into the Moto Twist. Keep that in mind. Remember, we'll ship for free. And if you want to talk to a gear geek, give us a shout. We're happy to walk you through sizing or functionality or the Olympia line. See us at revzilla.com or 877 792 9455. Thanks for watching our detailed breakdown. I'm Anthony. We'll see you next time.